Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm doing a live commentary on how to check what these quick challenges in the top right actually mean when you're in the game. So before you get into that, only 4% of you guys watching this are subscribed, so make sure if you have not already to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this. So in case you guys missed uh, one of our previous videos, I actually talked about how supercharged XP worked this season. So if you guys want to know more about that, click on the card in the top right. That will be coming up right now, and I'll just sum it up for you guys really quick. So pretty much what happens is you guys, um, so when you're inside a game, uh, these quick challenges will pop up in the, in the top left, and they'll say 14k XP, because these quick challenges will give you guys 14k XP. So pretty much um, after you complete those challenges, it'll give you challenges for 1.4k XP, which is 10 times less than that. So um, pretty much what you do each day is you complete all of these challenges, but if for some reason you didn't complete these 14k XP challenges, it will give you supercharged XP. So it should give you about 12k XP because you missed out on 14k XP the previous season, or the previous day. And this is pretty much the same exact thing as the Metal Punch card from last season. So if you guys want to figure out how, like what these challenges are, specifically because sometimes these, uh, pictures, these icons don't really make much sense. What you guys can do is go right here and click on challenges and it'll then click on quick challenges and it'll tell you exactly what they are and how many of each thing you have to do. Like explosive weapon eliminations, you only have to do one to get that quick challenge. Same thing with the med kits or bandages, you only have to do two out of three. So yeah, it's pretty simple to do these and they give you a ton of XP so I definitely recommend doing them. Another thing I'd recommend doing to level up fast is to definitely go ahead and do your um, metal punch cards, or they're just called punch cards now. So just do those. Some of them are just fishing. Some of them are only like shaking down a henchman like 15 times or something like that. So yeah, those are pretty simple and that'll help you unlock tier 100 and everything beyond that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like and make sure to comment down below any questions that you have or anything like that. And make sure to watch our previous videos. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.